Future Talk. This is Future Talk with Omnia Saleh and Hani Balkis. Happy Wednesday, dressed in a Thursday. Today's Wednesday is actually a very special one because we have a long weekend ahead. I hope you're all as excited as we are right here on Future Talk to bring you the latest tech news. <laughs> and he's already in weekend mode, starting uh, his long uh, night's sleep. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I'm so excited today. Caught you by, by surprise? Yeah, caught me by surprise. Uh, you know, we're very excited that tomorrow is uh, off for most people. Mm-hmm. Right here on Pulse95 and uh, Charger Radio, we are off, thankfully. And uh, again, I want to know what you guys are going to be doing uh, during the new Hijri year holiday, which is tomorrow. Uh, are you guys going to be uh, going out? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be going in. Going into sleep. <laughs> into sleep, into a very deep sleep. Hiatus, basically. It's too, it's too hot. You know, I it's think... It's so hot. <laughs> I think today, Omnia, we're going to take the show as if it's Thursday. As if it's Thursday. Right? I like that. You know, in Arabic, they say, Arbi'at mitkhamis. So, All right, translation. A Wednesday dressed up in a Thursday. The fourth is the, looks like the fifth. Yeah, that's yeah. an idiom, isn't it? Yeah. Because I haven't heard of it before. <laughs> I got that one. But again, I mean, today was a little bit too hot. Too it hot is. for comfort, you know? Too hot to function. Too hot to function. So so today, you know, I got out of my car and I park, you know, directly under the sun. I have no shade mm. uh, where I live. So I got in my car and I just had to process. <laughs> like, I, I sat down in my car and I, and I was like... It's like, like an inferno I, no, blowing I didn't, in your I face. I didn't turn on the car yet. I just How? sat in the car... <laughs> And I didn't close the door. I'm like, this is real life. I live I live this life, right? The car was so hot. It was so hot that I had to lower the windows to actually get cooler air. Yes. That is, that's basically like a given right here in the UAE. Even Man. if you turn the AC on, outside is even cooler than what's in your car. But again, I mean, uh, although the weather is a little bit too hot for comfort, a lot of people will be uh, taking advantage of the hot weather and going to the beach, going to the pool, enjoying their long week. Uh, text us in at 4215. Do a slot. Let us know what you're, you guys are going to be doing this weekend. But Let's talk about the tech, exactly, the tech news <laughs> exactly. that have been making headlines. And we're going to be starting out with Google because... News have it, they're, they're going to be allowing parents to remove children from images on search results. I think this is going to be basically like a hype amongst parents because a lot of people actually hate how their kids and even adults have some of their images show up on Google search. And we're going to tell you exactly how you can now remove them. Yes, and we're also going to be talking about how Instagram is now testing ads in the shop tab. Yes, indeed. Coming up on today's show as well, we're talking all about Amazon and how they're going to actually be paying you back if you happen to buy a faulty product or a product that is fake, as they may call it. And yeah, we're going to tell you exactly how much money you're going to be getting from them. Yes, and also how you can be vacationing with an Apple Watch wrist camera and have memory insurance on it. Two key words, Apple Watch, (laughs) wrist camera. Yes, indeed. In the world of apps, we're also going to be talking about Hanny's and a lot of people's favorite, TikTok. It has made headlines because it is officially the most downloaded app of 2020. Are we surprised? But the question is, how much time do you spend on it? Please go and head to our Instagram at Pulse95 Radio and let us know. Do you spend about an hour to two hours on it? Way more than that or way less than that? Yes, indeed. Let us know your guys' thoughts. 4215, do it slot or on Instagram at Pulse95 Radio. We're taking a short break, but when we come back... We're talking all about Google and how they're going to be allowing us to remove our own images from their search. Daily digital news. Bits and bytes connect our world. Ladies and gentlemen, Google has now let parents remove children from image search results. Now, parents will now be able to have images of their children removed from Google search results, and the company has said recently, and it does come as Google has announced a range of changes to child safety measures across several of its products and platforms. Now, it it seems that, you know, in the technological world, Mm -hmm. someone does something and they have to one-up it, right? (laughs) Just yesterday or a couple days ago, we were talking about how Apple will now scan mm-hmm. your device for any child abuse pictures or photos or videos. And if they find anything that has to do with child abuse, they will report the authorities. So Google said, wait, that's a great idea. 
we can now boost our PR. <laughs> Let's go and say, hey, you can now remove children from your Google search results. I mean, I totally agree with you because it's a lot of jealousy. It's a big jealousy game that they're playing over here and trying to gain more PR. But at the same time, I feel like with especially with Google search, a lot of people may not know, but if you Google your name or your child's name, sometimes you'll have your own images pop up. Even if you have a very, very small digital footprint, you don't have social media accounts, you will at least maybe find an image or two of yours on the search once you actually look up your own name. So a lot of parents have actually been concerned about this search option. They feel like it could be used for all the wrong reasons. And Google has decided to basically take a step to remove all these images. But this is also coming after very recent news that we've had regarding YouTube's children version because they have officially decided to remove overly commercial content. So all children that are under the age of 18 years old will not be getting overly commercial content. They're not going to be getting very inappropriate advertisements. And this is all to help protect them as well from witnessing things that they should not be seeing at this age. This is also following the footsteps of many other technology companies that have also been trying to protect children, one of them being Instagram, because mm -hmm. they actually created this under 16 uh, default on the option. Whenever you go as a 16 year old or under to create an account, the default will be set to private rather than a public account, which is a bit of sad news for any young kid who wants to be an influencer, but at such a young age, I think they should be focusing on other things. Yeah. Uh, Omni, have you ever Google searched your name? Yes. When? <laughs> I, I think after joining Pulse95. Really? I Not Google before. searched my name uh, back when I was a child. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, what I, did you find? Honey Nut Cheerios. No way. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Did, were you the face it? of... Cereal? You know how on with Kinder, a lot of children are actually the face of Kinder. Oh uh, no, I wish I, I'd be a millionaire. You know, imagine like my my face being on boxes of <laughs> cereals across the world, right? But I don't know why what it had to do with it. But after mm -hmm. that, I was I kind of you know got a, got disappointed a little bit. I was like, oh man, I was like twelve anyways. But uh, you know, my point of view on this, mm -hmm. yes, you know, children should have their own privacy, mm -hmm. and you know, we kind of need to kind of compare it to you know. Uh, Kanye West's children mm. you know the, the children of famous people right they have paparazzi following them everywhere and they take their, get their pictures taken whether it's uh, Beyonce's child as well so you know we always defend them and say hey you can't be taking pictures of them you have to have them live their own privacy yeah right now, when it comes to normal human beings who have normal children and, you know, they're not famous or anything, at the same time, they should be protected as well. And you never know what someone might have malicious intent, you know? Let's say, for example, I am a predator, right? Yeah. I'm not a predator. I am a predator mm. for just the sake of this example. <laughs> and I, you know, I Google search, you know, uh, something and I find... Uh, 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 maybe, uh, like, let's say a, a kid named... Jerry, Leroy or you know, Jerry, yeah. yeah, Jerry and Jerry, Jerry. Jerry looks pretty. You know, he's a cute kid, <laughs> right? I want him. I want him to be my child now. Okay. So you know, I'm gonna search for Jerry. I'm gonna look at things that Jerry is in the yeah. area. Read the article that Jerry is being posted in. Yeah. And you know, I could kidnap him. True. Right. That's how things happen. Or Don't, take his image and maybe use it for other purposes. Yeah, it's, it's it's very bad, and I believe everyone should have their own privacy, especially when it comes to little children as these pictures are obviously being posted without the child's consent. Absolutely. Now, Google does actually acknowledge that you as a parent removing the image of your child off of Google search does not remove it from the World Wide Web altogether. We do know that it's still going to be on that database. But at the same time, it does give you as a parent and just as a user more control over basically the digital footprint of yourself, your children, and any other person. Now, they're also introducing other changes, one of them being stopping ad targeting based on the child's age, his gender or her gender, and their interests. So as a kid, you'll, you're not going to be getting any targeted ads whenever you play a certain YouTube video. They're also preventing and uh, changing the default mode of uploaded videos for children, so you can actually find the most private option as the default instead of posting it on 
general public. These are just a few of many more changes that they're going to be introducing, whether it was to their App Store, the Google Play, or even the Google Search or YouTube. Let me know which of the changes do you support the most and have you ever tried Googling your name? I think that's going to be a fun uh, question. I, th- I, th- <laughs> I think a lot of people have Googled their name, especially now because uh, we have a uh, uh, websites like LinkedIn now, yeah. right? You know, you can Google your name. If I Google, let's say, for example, um, <laughs> I don't want to Google myself. I know. You'll I'll, find all future talk Yeah, shows. you'll find future talk related to it. Yeah. But let's say, for example, uh, you know, if I go into a company right now and I look for the CEO, mm. right? And I, the CEO is named Tom, True. right? Hey, Tom, Han- Tom Hanks is a famous actor. Anyways, you guys get my point. 4215 Thoughts or on Instagram at Pulse95 Radio. We're taking a short break, but when we come back, we're talking about $1,000 that you could soon claim if you get a faulty or fake product from Amazon. Daily digital news. Bits and bytes connect our world. If you're a regular person who orders from Amazon quite often, we've got some good news for you because you may be gaining some money out of Amazon. Why are you looking at me looking at me like that on me? You know yourself. Why are you attacking me like that on me? You know yourself. Her eyes were looking at me and like I'm talking about you, honey. <laughs> Cuz you know yourself. Who bought the I know ki- I know myself, but you can't look at me and like your eyes were piercing my heart. Who bought the Kindle that's sitting right on their desk or wherever it's sitting. It's in the trunk of my car. Oh, in this heat? It's been like that a couple of months In the now. trunk of your car? You know, Rest I... Rest in peace, Kendall. I, I actually had a... The- I was doing a kind of a, a theory, a, an experiment. A test. Oh. I was seeing how long it could withstand, you know, not the being heat? charged. Oh, really? Believe it or not, two months. Two months, and it's no still use. still on? Still on, yes. Very hot, but still on. Right? Amazing. Amazon products kind of, you know, they're, they're pretty good. But, uh, you know, if you have a, if you get a fake product yeah. or you get a uh, counterfeit mm. product, you might be up to pay, to get paid $1,000 by Amazon. It's actually very frustrating because Amazon sells a lot of things and some things are too good to be true and some people fall for that and they go ahead and order them and find out that they're fake. I can tell you this has happened with a couple of people I know when it comes to skincare products, makeup, even sometimes... Uh, I don't know, things that may be brand names and people may mistaken them to be original and they buy them and they find out that they're fake. So if you are that type of person, hold on, because even though you might get your fake product, you might get some cash alongside with it. They're soon going to be starting this compensation offer to their customers in the U.S., but hopefully it's going to be spreading to the rest of the world very soon. This is only going to be applicable to people. Why are you laughing? Because I, I remember, you know. What? So I I was uh, mm. I was on Amazon re- recently. I was looking for something called brass knuckles. Is so it for working out. No, 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 it's not working out. So it <laughs> is it, it, it is uh, what's it called? Iron Man. It's style. A, it's, no, it's actually used for fighting, right? It's a, ah, it's a knuckle okay. you put. It's illegal, mm. right? And, and it's illegal. It's a, it's considered a weapon. Oh, and, oh okay. Like it's, a, it's made of brass. It's made of brass. You oh. put it on your knuckles, and if you punch someone, you, right, you'll destroy their you'll face. destroy their face, and you can even have you know a chance of knocking out, uh, breaking your fingers, right? If you use it un- incorrectly. May I ask why are you even looking for that? Oh, ju- ju- just I want to see if 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 Amazon would sell it because Amazon oh, okay. sometimes they sell weird stuff. Yeah. Right. And you know, <laughs> I I saw I saw one of one of the products being uh, you know advertised, and I clicked on it, and mm. the ratings were like. Like 500 people rated it one star, and it was like I think it was around like 250 dirhams, right? Okay. Which which it would be the you know the the logical price of, of to something of, like this, something like this. Yeah. And everyone, everyone, I'm like I want to see why it's one star, mm-hmm. right? And what is you can say say what's say what's on your mind? What's on my mind? I'm very concerned why a lot of people who had in mind to buy brass knuckles. No, it's is ju- it brass knuckles? Is yes, it even brass knuckles. You can Google Why? it. Why? Why do we want to order breast milk? <laughs> not for me. I wanted to look because yeah, you're not the only one. That's what I'm concerned oh, about. Okay, no, I'm not the only one. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> so Omnia, um, yeah, going to the story. Yeah. Right. Uh, one star, 500 ratings. I was like, why? What, what's, uh. what's wrong with this item? Is it like plastic? Mm. Is it fake? Mm. So they're like, everyone's like, next time you buy something, read the details. It's a sticker that you oh put on your car. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> and that's false advertising. It has to be false advertising. Right? Ima- imagine it's false advertising. It looks real. It looks everything, but you it's think a sticker. It, yeah. And the price makes sense. Two hundred and fifty dirhams. 
And everyone, everyone, like all the comments were like, I feel so dumb. I'm uh, Next time, read the comments. So, something like that. You know, this reminded me of that woman who ordered, she An wanted iPhone? to. No, she wanted to order the AirPods and she received like a mimic, a, a model of no, a, a huge, huge. A huge phone, yeah. I mean, I have no, no clue why people would do that. But yeah. Oh, yeah. she. Re- I think she ordered it and she received it as a keychain, if I'm not mistaken. We, oh. We're receiving external support from some of them. But, 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 I need to have a talk with her after this. <laughs> <laughs> Why does she know such items? But, you know, again, I do believe this would fall under the category of mm. fake or counterfeit items. Absolutely. False advertising. Because Amazon does a lot like that. I mean, I can tell you one example. I wanted to order a MacBook Pro bag and I received the sticker cover instead. <laughs> and it that? was advertised as the case itself. Mm. So just just for mm. context over here. Now, if you are a victim of this situation don't worry because soon enough they're planning to roll out like a compensation program starting from the 1st of september amazon will be held liable if you get a product that was advertised as completely original and it was absolutely fake they also announced that they're going to have a much more strict Mm. rule with all third party sellers when it comes to selling products there will be a strict guideline on what they can sell what fake, quote unquote, fake products can be on the platform mm-hmm. and what just can't be on the platform. So, I mean, if you remember back in 2019, towards the end of the year, yeah. uh, I was uh, my laptop broke. I was, I was in the market for mm. buying a new laptop. Mm. MacBook Pro was yeah. my number one, you know, option oh, to yeah. buy. <laughs> I bought it off Amazon. Yeah. Next day I got the delivery. I'm turning it on. Everything is going great. And the battery, you know, it, 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 it takes a poop, mm-hmm. right? It's saying charge your battery. The battery's not being charged. Blah, 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 blah. So... It is, you know, is marketed as or advertised as brand new in the box. And it was brand new in Mm. the box. But the thing was, it was a refurbished laptop. I was just going to say. Right. And, you know, thankfully, oh, my God. Listen, I don't care what anyone says at this Mm. point. Amazon's customer service is ridiculous. Right. Ridiculously good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was just going to say. It is ridiculously good. Because, you know, I called them. Yeah. I said, hey, I I literally, it's been 20 minutes since I got the laptop. One, two, three just happened. Oh, 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 you don't have to explain no more. They refunded it. We're gonna we're gonna refund the money and we're gonna give you a thousand dollar voucher. Oh, nice. Thank you very much. Yes, have a, and also you have six months Prime X extended. Boop. Close they the are phone. amazing. I know. And you know that was great because because again uh, it makes you want to order use the platform again. If it was any other website and you received a faulty laptop, you'd never order from them again. Omnia, I tell I tell you, I sometimes I use Amazon like a newspaper. <laughs> I'll go in. I'll Reading. say, what's today's deals? <laughs> Oh, you know, uh, thankfully I don't need anything. Oh, limited time. Like something. I, I'm, I have a bad problem, anyways. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you because I oh, want. Go back to school. <laughs> yeah, because that would really concern me. Omnia, do what? you want a, an EU fee vacuum cleaner? I already it's got smart, it. It's a smart vacuum cleaner. Is it a smart it, vacuum it, it, cleaner? It, it, it detects where it needs to be vacuumed. Really? Yeah. So is it a robo vacuum? Yes, yeah, a robot oh, vacuum. Fantastic. I was going to say, I ordered from Amazon once, um, what was it? A smart scale. And it was the wrong description. It's not exactly what I ordered. When I asked for a return to exchange the item, they actually refunded the money and they just said, don't return it. Go ahead and donate it or give it as a gift. Omnia. <laughs> So I was like, what is this? Is this an actual company? Before Amazon, there was Souk. Yes. In, in, in the UAE and in the Gulf I countries. I don't like Souk. Yeah, right? Co- policy and wasn't when the best. I w- and I, I think back in 2019, mm. uh, Amazon bought Souk. Yeah. So I remember when I was in America back in 2018, mm. right? And my uncle had ordered something from Amazon. Yeah. Like a $500 speaker for mm. his for his home <laughs> home studio. Which it goes around for like about 1,700 dirhams. Okay. So my uncle, obviously, he didn't like it. it there was problems with it. You know, mm. the guy who, you know, installed it, uh, giving him attitude. Something like th- yeah. Things were like that. I wasn't there when it happened, but I was on the phone call with him because I was mm. in the car with him. He calls Amazon. He's like, hey, man, one, two, three, four happened, five, six. No problem. You'll get refunded. All right. I need someone to pick up. Just keep the speaker. Yeah. Keep the speaker. <laughs> right? And Omnia. You it know, makes sense, though, because as you mentioned... No one wants to buy refurbished items on Amazon. No one wants to buy refurbished items on Amazon. And number two, Omnia, there was a person online mm. who bought a, so a 16 gigabyte RAM stick, mm. which mm, you mm, stick mm, into mm. your computer, right? When he ordered it, he ordered one stick of RAM. He got 100 sticks of RAM. 100. They sent him a whole box. What in the world? And, you know, he was going crazy. He went online. He said, hey, 
I got I got 106 so of many, RAM, yeah. 16 gigabytes, right? I don't yeah. need them. And when I contact Amazon, they're like, the seller doesn't want them. Keep them? Keep them, right? Because to them, it is cheaper cheaper, to, cheaper yeah. to Amazon mm. to keep the item, uh, for you to keep the items and, you know, just for them to go about their business. Rather than deal right? with... Rather than deal yeah. with returns, checking if they're all faulty because to Amazon, time is money. Absolutely. Right? And it will take a lot of time to recount inventory, blah, 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 blah. So this guy was like, all right, I'm going to be giving them away online, right? And I'm going to be selling them. This guy made like, I, I believe, like... Twenty thousand dollars. Talk about good luck. <laughs> Remember when I got f- sixteen free shirts? You ha- They asked you to go ahead and, and print a label and yeah, pay they- for shipping and. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're like, hey, if you want, if you want, you can just print a label and send it to us and go to the post office. I'm like, no, if you want, you guys can pick it up. Like, keep it then. If you have any interesting stories with Amazon's customer service or just dealing with Amazon in general, let me know. What are your thoughts? Our text signs are open for two one five. Do it to Salat or sign into our DMs at Pulse ninety five Radio. Pulse ninety five. Apps all around. What's worth a click and download. Let's talk all about Instagram and how they're planning to basically make us buy a lot more, spend much more money, and have our bank account crying in the corner, especially this summer. They have been really playing their advertisement game very well, and now they're actually planning to test ads in the new shop tab. Yes, I mean, (laughs) sorry, my coffee spilled, (laughs) right? I was cleaning the coffee. The coffee jumped up all in my face, right? It's a great Wednesday. I threw it away, and the coffee was like... (laughs) It's good luck, you know, well, when in coffee, the Arab world. Yeah, when really? coffee spills, it means you're pigeons? getting more money. Really? Uh, oh, even pigeons. Yeah, pigeon, when, pigeons, when a p- pigeon does his business on you, you know, it's, apparently it's, it's good, good luck. luck. No, coffee spilling is, uh, they say it is uh, like more money for you. I kind of I kind of threw it like a very aggressively, <laughs> so I think I don't know if it's... Maybe it's your fault. Maybe it's my fault, you know. But I, I mean, Instagram, right? You have experience with buying from Instagram. I bought once, I believe. Shirts? No, I didn't buy from Instagram. I oh, bought, okay. I bought, I was, I bought uh, something related to the gym mm. on Instagram. And, you know, the thing I don't like about Instagram is that there's no dedicated customer, su- customer support for it. No. Nope. There's no dedicated delivery for it. It's all being used by the person who is selling the product. But they give you that platform where kind mm. of like a catalog yeah. per se. So, you know, I, I, I don't like the aspect of, you know, making it kind of a, you know, platform for shopping, mm. right? I feel like it becomes, I don't, I don't like know why market. all the Arabic sayings are coming to my mind today. It's like, ikhdim nafsak bi nafsak. Help out, help yourself out. You know, if, if you don't receive a delivery, there's no customer service that you can contact. And a lot of the times they'll take the money and you receive nothing. Yeah. I mean, again, I want something that will guarantee that my True. purchase is going to be safe. And, you know, uh, I, I feel that when we're talking about e-commerce, mm. right, we're going to go back and talk about Mr. Amazon. Amazon is the way to go. But, you know, I can't really, you know, be so biased mm. because once upon a time there was something called eBay. eBay never had any, <laughs> you know, direct customer service support, mm. never had a direct delivery service. Mm. It was all being done by the seller. And, you know, you had to trust the seller. So, you know, this could work in this day and age, but I do believe that there's so many other alternatives to a respected platform. Now, Instagram is a respected platform. Yeah. But when I'm talking about respected, I'm talking about the seller itself, right? Now, obviously, if it's a very big company, I don't think you'd have to worry so much. But I'm talking about the mom and pop companies, right? <laughs> the mom and pop, you know, small small uh, Instagram accounts with a couple thousand followers selling, for example, dresses, you know? Mm. Uh, a lot, a lot of females and a lot of women in, in around the world nowadays look at Instagram to buy a lot of dresses. I don't know why. Because they're unique. <laughs> they're, they're, no, I'm, I'm, I, and even abayas, you know. Yeah, because they, they sell like small designers can actually basically have a virtual store without having to pay all the fees that comes with yeah. selling your product. I, I, I'm, I'm looking at it. and I'm like, wow, this is a, it's a huge marketplace. Yeah. I have my friend whose wife actually opened her own kind of abaya type of business. She's flourishing, mashallah. And I have another friend, his sister is selling cakes, right? Flourish, flourishing as well, mashallah. So, you know, I'm like, wow. You know, it's it's. I never expected because me as a person, Hani, yeah. I would not like to pay online to a person mm. who I don't know of, mm. right? I wouldn't send my, I, I wouldn't send money to your bank account. I think they the give time, you like a portal. Insta- or sometimes it's bank transfers. It could be a phishing, phishing website, right? It could be, hey, send it. So, you know, 
a lot of these local companies, at yeah. least, or local places, they'll do cash on delivery. Mm, that's nice. Right? Cash on delivery, yeah. I'm okay with that, right? That is fine. But, I mean, uh, we do know that Instagram is trying to up the ante a little bit. They're trying yeah. to, you know, ma- market their presence on uh, the, the e- platform. E- e- e-commerce in general. Omnia, mm. did you know Facebook Marketplace is crazy? Oh, it is. Crazy. For 100%. you and I, Omnia, you're like, Facebook? I mean, who, who's on Facebook? A lot a of people lot of- buy from Facebook Market. Omnia. A lot of people outside of the UAE, we're mm. talking about Jordan, Egypt, Palestine, Syria, Lebanon, a lot of Arab countries use Facebook like we use Instagram. 100%. They don't even use Instagram. I could tell you about my mom. <laughs> She's they, one they, of them. They use Facebook crazy. Religiously. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Because I was talking to this guy I met at the gym. He's around 48 years old. Mm. And I liked the guy and we, we were talking about a couple of things. I'm like, hey, give me your Instagram. Right? He's I'm, like, I use Facebook more like, often. No, 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 no. Facebook. Give me your Facebook. I'm like, I don't have a Facebook. He's like, how do you not have a Facebook? I deactivated he's like, it he's years like, ago. He's like, I'm huge on Facebook. I'm like, are you? He's like, you've never heard of me? I'm like, no. Right? So he look, he's 150K followers or fans or mm. I don't know. What do they call it? Followers. Them? Or uh, friends, is it followers? Friends, I think. Friends. I don't know. Facebook. 150K people are subscribed to him. Oh. I'm like, what do you talk about? Wow. What do you do? It's a world. He's like, he's like, okay, to be fair, he's 205 centimeters tall. Oh right? And he was an ex-basketball player. So for the Jordanian national team. So, Wouldn't know what that life is about. So, you know, no no wonder he's liked or has that many followers. <laughs> now, you know, going back to the Instagram and what they're releasing, they're actually starting a new test where they're going to be portraying more ads on their shop tab. So the ad will either involve a single image or multiples of them just like you see amidst or between instagram stories sometimes when you're flicking from one insta story to the other you'll find an ad pop up it'll be the same thing but on the shop tab only certain advertisers will have access to this feature at the beginning but then they have plans to expand it to even small businesses small people that are just selling regular items on their instagram accounts it's no surprise that instagram is planning to add more ads in more places yet at the same time they're also looking at facebook being their main revenue driver. Just like you mentioned, Hani, a lot of people actually sell more items on Facebook than they sell on Instagram. Just a couple of months ago, they actually officially rolled out ads in Reels and those have been actually performing phenomenally. A lot of people have been finding out about small businesses through those Reels. Let me know, do you have a small mm-hmm. business on Instagram? We'll mm-hmm. give you a quick shout out over here. Or do you, know, do you know someone or a specific account that you regularly buy from on Instagram? Because now their accounts may just be flourishing even more as they become advertised Mm -hmm. on the shop tab. Yeah, I want to know also if you do plan on making uh, an Instagram account where you can sell items let us know what 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 is what is the market? What is the you know what is this, the 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 space of all of this? Because you know I'm kind of lost. You know I'll go on to the <laughs> shop sometimes. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm on Instagram right now. Shop. You know like I don't know what's all of this. Like like you who is click, this guy? You click. <laughs> do you what? I, like, what do you get when you click on his image? Do you I, get like I get hoodies for four hundred dollars. Yeah. So you get the option to shop whatever they're wearing, which is another thing that a lot of influencers have been doing, and that's that's basically one of the ways that they get. They deal with sponsorships, so they'll just tag think, the account. Oh, I mean, is this bad translation? What is it? It's, it's called in Arabic, Al Bahar. Yeah, and in English, Mediterranean. <laughs> wow, specific type of uh, Bahar is, is, to is say it, though. Is it bad? Is it bad? Yeah, tra- it's I mean, bad trans- uh, Bahar means beach, be- ocean, or sea, ocean. or whatever. Not specifically the Mediterranean. Sea. All right, the four two one five. Those slots are on Instagram at Pulse ninety five video. We're taking a short break. But when we come back, we're talking all about vacationing with an Apple Watch wrist camera. Gadget of the day. New tech you might want to play with. Balls 95. Today's gadget has a lot to do with celebrating summer and going on vacations, which is something people have been looking forward to, especially after about two years of no travel. Um, But before we jump into our favorite gadget of today, we're going to be giving a quick shout out to Doris, our lovely listener, and everyone tuning in to us right now. It's been a great conversation with all of you. But Doris actually sent us a message saying that she's very excited today for the very long weekend ahead. She has had Pulse95 on in the background. She's been cooking lunch, just resting and relaxing. What's for lunch? Oh, that's a good question. (laughs) What's for lunch today? Um, And she's also excited for 5 p.m. to tune into Yellow Home. What about halftime show and afternoon karak? That's a question I have. Oh, that's a good (laughs) question. 
But, uh, you know, uh, we're very excited as well. You know, a long weekend. Very good. I'm very excited to get into the story, though. Yeah. And, you know, how we can be vacationing with an Apple Watch wrist camera. Now, Omnia was talking about how you can go under the water. Yes. Help me. I am under the water. I am drowning. I am drowning. Under- you, got- you remember that meme? I remember, you remember the that WhatsApp one? video. You remember that one? Help me. I am drowning under the water. Hello. Hello. And then, like, he starts spitting out water. <laughs> Right? Yes. And I always wondered if he was under the water, how how did he take a video camera of it's himself? Special effects? How? But now we know the reason why Apple Watch wrist camera. That's exactly what he had. He had he had he had technology before us. Advanced way technology. way before us. <laughs> so you know, help me under the water, guy. We now know your secret. It's the cat is out of the bag now. <laughs> You can take a swim with a waterproof wrist camera, and that does mean a chance at photo ops at the expense of not appreciating being camera free. And Omnia, believe it or not, right now, right here in the UAE, uh, the new trend is diving. Yes. A lot of people are going diving, scuba diving. To run away from the heat. (laughs) Oh, man, I think the water is already hot already. I mean, now... You know, diving is becoming more and more popular right here in the UAE. And I, I, I actually have a friend who has a diving license. Ooh. Right? He got it off, uh, I, I do believe, Khurfakan. Uh, Mashallah. They, 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 uh, they, mm. they give you lessons and training courses, and he does have a scuba diving license. It is a rich part of the UAE heritage as well. Yeah, so it's yeah. Like I mean, keeping it alive. Pearl as well. diving, mm. very, very important uh, on how the UAE was built. And, you know, uh, the economy uh, depended heavily back True. in the 19, uh, 1960s or seven, no, 1950s mm-hmm. on, uh, on pearl diving. But uh, again, what if you could pearl dive with an Apple <laughs> wrist camera watch? You Help know, me under the water. <laughs> I think it's fantastic because a lot of the times you go through life, you go on summer breaks or holidays in general, but you don't want to constantly remember to take photos or videos or images. That way you'll have your wrist camera on and it'll be like a point of view shot of whatever it is that you're seeing and witnessing. So the gadget itself is known as wrist cam and it's very easy to use when you go ahead and pair it up with your Apple Watch. It goes at a price point of about $300. Are we trying the one, two, three? <laughs> I remembered I remembered how I used to take images with the Apple Watch when I first discovered this brand new feature. Why are we taking images with the Apple Watch now? Anyways, if you're tuning into our YouTube channel, Plus 95 Radio, you're in for a very good treat. Um, but <laughs> Why are you shy? Why are you camera shy? Because I don't know why we're taking photos with an Apple Watch. It's fun. We're talking about wrist cameras that pair to the Apple Watch. They look, at, go, look at that. I wow. don't know why. <laughs> they go by the price of $300, which it's it's a hefty price, but I think it's worth it's worth the money. It's kind of how much is a GoPro? Probably $300. Okay, so about the same price. Um, But what's interesting about it is it has dual cameras. So it has a selfie camera that would angle basically like a forward-facing camera on your wristband. And it can also snap and capture your surroundings. It has HD video and it can either snap still photos or as we mentioned video. And it syncs to an app that saves basically everything on your Apple photo library. It also has Siri connects to it so you can ask Siri to start taking videos or photos. A couple of days ago we guys told you 10 things you need to know about Siri when it's offline. Yes indeed. Right? And I was so mad at Siri because she didn't follow through my commands offline. <laughs> follow my commands? My name is Omnia. <laughs> Miss Saleh. Yeah. Right? I, is, is that how you talk to Siri? You you assert dominance? No, she actually only... Why don't you, why aren't you nice to AI? Oh, I I try to be nice because I keep remembering that the voice behind her is human. Yes. Susan Bennett. But yes. at the same time, when she gets on my nerves, she gets on my nerves. Now, you know, this wristwatch camera mm. it actually doesn't come out of Apple. It's a third party. No. <laughs> and you know what's about to happen next. Apple, all of a sudden, <laughs> subhanAllah, hey guys, we just had this breakthrough technology. It's going to cost $500. Yes. And everyone's going to buy it. You know, and you know, actually, Omnia, I do believe uh, at one point in time we were looking at rumors uh, concerning the Apple Watch in the coming years, and yeah. they did kind of plan on con- creating a camera on it or mm-hmm. putting a camera on it. And you know, I mean, I like the idea, but I don't know how viable it would be, you know, for quality pictures because, mm. like, I am running. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, gonna, it's, it's on my hand. It's, some it's of weird. them, some of them are pretty blurry. So. I get a GoPro. 
you'd get a GoPro. I, I'd get a GoPro. Yeah, and strap it on your chest. You know, or I want a GoPro, Omnia. He goes on Amazon, buys a GoPro. <laughs> but what would I do with it? That's the thing. Like, I'm not, I'm not that sporty. Go bungee jumping, skydiving. <laughs> it's like you don't want to do future talk with me anymore. You want me? You want you want something bad to happen to me? No, not at all. Right? And you guys are calling me fat today too. No one is calling you fat. So imagine I go on a bungee, uh-huh. uh, the rope, the rope thing, the rope breaks, and then you know, no more future talk. No, 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 no. With no me. one's saying that. Is that what you're implying? And you want me to document it with a GoPro so you guys go viral? <laughs> you guys are so look- you go fr- viral. I'm dead. No. <laughs> You won't be. Stop saying that you're going to be dead. I'll be dead. No, no, no. A right? lot of people go skydiving and come back better than ever. But they don't, they're not fat like me. You can like ask me. Afternoon Karak's uh, host. Who, who went, uh, Mikey went skydiving? No. Uh, why did I say Afternoon Karak? I meant morning majlis. Who went skydiving? Abdul Karim Hanif. When? He did go. Back in the what good a, old what days. What a lucky man. Anyways, coming up on today's show, we're talking all about TikTok becoming the most downloaded app of 2020. <laughs> how did it gain this title and how much time do you spend on TikTok? Let me know. In just a few moments, we're going to be expanding on the story. Pulse 95. Apps all around. What's worth a click and download? What's worth a click and download? Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about the most downloaded application of all time or is it all year? All time. All time. In 2020. In 2020. <laughs> which is, drum roll please. I have the worst drum roll today. I think, I think Mikhail Althea would have a good drum roll, but we're talking about TikTok. Ladies and gentlemen, has overtaken Facebook as the world's most downloaded application and for all the greatest reasons. Mm-hmm. Now, TikTok, let's be 100% honest. Now, if anyone, you know, used to tune in a year ago. Yeah. Honey, you're such a hypocrite. Now you're saying TikTok is awesome. You used to say that TikTok is the worst. Listen, listen. Uh, you don't know. He's a changed man because he became a TikToker. <laughs> you don't know unless you try it, right? Mm. TikTok is the greatest application mm. to date. Because it is of more their entertaining, algorithm. more entertaining than, than Facebook, more entertaining than Instagram, Twitter. I use TikTok a lot. I know I watch a lot of videos, and believe it or not, Omnia, it kind of fires up your creativity. Because there's a lot of creative people on the application True. that you say, hey, I can do that too. Like how many how many times, Omnia, let's be honest, Omnia, okay. how many times did you want to try a cooking recipe because of TikTok? C- uh, Remember that fettuccine cheese? Feto. Yeah, it's the feta pasta. Feta pasta. Did <laughs> yeah. you try to do it? I wanted to, but never did. See? But I love TikTok because a lot of places that... You know, my best friends and I would visit are actually inspired by TikTok. See, TikTok, I mean, again, they're like, oh, it's for children. It's, for, it's not for children. No. Mm-hmm. All right, you old timer. It's not for children. It is the most downloaded application, especially it, it kicked off a lot during lockdown. And I'm so upset I didn't utilize it during lockdown. I'm so upset. Like, if there's ever another lockdown, God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. Right? Please Nick, no. I'm going to be on TikTok all the time. I never utilized it, man. I didn't. Uh, You're utilizing it the, now. The peak of TikTok was in lockdown. Was in lockdown. True. <laughs> See if I just mu- hum it. You already know what it is. I think fifty-year-old. Yeah, fifty-year-olds would actually know every song that we're talking about. They'd hum it with you. Um, but I think was what's amazing about this is people did not actually expect it to top Facebook, especially in certain countries. Facebook was like the top, and now TikTok is actually it has risen over it. And mm. and TikTok is banned in India. Yeah. So they are the most downloaded, even though they're banned in one of the biggest populations in the world. True. How many are they, Omnia? Like 1.2 billion people. I think around, a bit more. I think around that they have a lot of people, and you know, t- India, uh, India banned TikTok, and believe it or not, before the ban, TikTok actually kind of you know kicked off because of India. You know what's interesting about it is, f- actually, TikTok is one of the only apps not owned by Facebook, and I actually forgot about that. Yeah. Facebook owns WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook, and probably a couple of small apps that we don't talk about or not many people download. And even with all what they own, that man, that market, uh, you know, domination. Yeah, they were not able to top TikTok. They've been actually taking the top spot 
Ever since 2018, they've been dominating the chart, and now TikTok was able to beat them. And you know, remember, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Donald Trump wanted to ban it. You know why? So <laughs> American are, companies could capitalize, like Walmart, Oracle, you know, they uh, all wanted Microsoft, a piece of they the cake. want all piece of the pie. Why? Because it was dominating. True. Right? And they made this whole, hey man, it messes with your security and stuff like that. He wanted the code. You, 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 know, you know, Bill Gates' daughter uses uses TikTok vividly. Wow. Right? She uses it, uses it, and and Bill Gates has been on a couple of TikToks, a viral TikToks. Wow. I want to I want to know what Donald Trump's thoughts about this. Too too bad no, he's no, off no, of no, Twitter. No 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 no. We don't want to know his thoughts. We don't want to know his thoughts. We don't want to know. We don't want to know his thoughts. <laughs> because his thoughts create droughts. <laughs> What? Uh, today you're on a roll. Um, one other interesting fact about TikTok is it actually is planning to launch new vanishing clips. They're going to be copying a feature from Snapchat. And I'm excited to see how that rolls There's out. There's stories already. Oh, for 24 hours. Yes, I, I've already posted one story. On TikTok. I don't think it a lot of views, believe it or not. I think, uh, you know, only a set number of people have it. What's your TikTok account for Not people? giving you guys. No, not anyone? You don't yeah. want followers on TikTok anymore? Okay. Uh, I, I have enough. You have enough. Okay, yeah. great. Um, let us know how much time do you spend on TikTok? We asked everyone on Instagram and we had very interesting responses. The majority of the answers said way more than an hour or two. So let us know. Our text lines are open. 4215, door it's a lot. Or sign into our DMs at Pulse95 Radio. It is a Wednesday dressed in a Thursday. So I want to wish all of what you... What is Thursday wear? Weekend outfits. <laughs> what do you mean weekend outfits? What's a weekend outfit? Casual outfits. What's a cable? But what is? where do we put a difference between casual and weekend? My blood pressure is rising today. You're young. You shouldn't have any problems with your My blood, blood pressure. My blood pressure is rising today. Right? We want to wish them a beautiful weekend. Yes, of course. Hani's going to spend it sleeping. Let us know what your plans are this weekend. Um, but coming up on Pulse 95 to keep you entertained today is the halftime show. The only place to be at three. He's going to be bringing you... Who is he? Oh, I'm at a duty. Yeah, buddy. He's going to be bringing you everything you need to know about the world of sports, mental health, as well as physical well-being. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we do hope you have a great, great weekend ahead of you, a very long weekend. Text us in what you guys will be doing during this long weekend. We love you guys. We'll see you Sunday, same time, same place, only here on Pulse 95. 95. If you liked this episode of Future Talk, drop a like and subscribe. Pulse 95. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories.